I can't believe we're here. I'm so excited. Are you ready? Here it is. Boom. Welcome home, Rep Pack. Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, the show where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to the modern day. And I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob and also Nickelodeon collection. We're not talking about that today. It's all about Cartoon Network, which I also have a collection for. And the creator of this channel is a very big fan of our new theme song. Daisy the dog, Marcus the human. On the channel, we're fun and collecting never ends comfort cartoons. But I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Today is gonna be an awesome video. But if you're not having an amazing day, you know the drill, camera flip. It's about to get a whole lot brighter right back because your boy is here. Today is gonna be so much fun. As you guys can see, watch Cartoon Network here. I'm in a hotel right now in Pennsylvania that is very, very close to something uh, Cartoon Network themed that we're gonna be going to today. In fact, we can actually see it. Well, I can see it, but if you look at that little yellow squiggle by the bus right now, see that? But yeah, that, that's a Cartoon Network hotel. So yes, today we are gonna be going to the Cartoon Network hotel. I am extremely excited. If you're new to this channel, this is what we're all about is about animation so it's a dream come true to be here in Pennsylvania to go to the Cartoon Network Hotel. You may be wondering why I'm not staying at the Cartoon Network Hotel. That's because like I said I'm going to be adding a new four-legged member of the family. They don't they take dogs which is kind of ironic because the mascot of their building is Jake which is a dog. <laughs> so they don't let dogs in the hotel. So I am going to be actually booking a room at the hotel and probably not even staying there just so we can do this video for you guys and document the hotel as much as possible. So without any further ado we got to pick our room. They've got we Bear Bears, they've got Teen Titans, of course, they've got Adventure Time, they have Vin 10, they have Powerpuff Girls, a bunch of different room themes. So we have to pick a theme together. Let's go ahead and book this room, and then we're heading over to the Cartoon Network Hotel to check it out. So you guys can see we have the Cartoon Network Hotel right here on my phone. It looks amazing. I already love it just from the outside. You've got Jake and Finn, but why are we looking at this? We are going to see it in person. Here it has all the different things you can do there, but we're going to look down here and we can select our actual room. So we have the Ben 10 room right here with a king size bed. We've got the queen bed bunk, which we can't see the theme on that one. I think it's adventure time. We have adventure time here. We've got Ben 10. And then I think the one we're going to go with though is Powerpuff Girls. Because of all of these, the OG of them all is the Powerpuff Girls. And it's also the biggest room. It has bunk beds and it looks like it has an awesome art wall right here too. So I can't wait to check out this room closer. As we saw at the Nickelodeon Hotel Resort that they had at Family Suites, you never know how long these things will be a thing. So I'm just excited that we get to document this together on the channel and be able to experience it So I think we're gonna go with the Powerpuff Girls room. Let's go ahead and book it and we are good Okay guys, are you ready? I can't believe we're here. I'm so excited. Are you ready? Here it is <laughs> We are at the Cartoon Network Hotel. This is unreal. It doesn't even feel like reality right now But we are here and there we have Finn and Jake right up up here, going all the way around the support beams for the building, all the way down to the floor. We definitely gotta take a picture with Jake. And you guys can see on the building, we have all these Cartoon Network characters covering it. It looks amazing. And you can see we have all the rooms down here that you stay in. They have really cool colors across all the doors that match up. I love it already. But you guys know me. This is Comfort Cartoon, so I'm going to go ahead and go through all the little details, stuff that I see just from entering here. So before we go into the building, there's some stuff just when you enter we got to check out. So when you drive up to get your attention as you're coming through to find the hotel, you have the Cartoon Network Hotel sign. And then below that, you've got Eat Sleep Cartoon. That's what we do over here on Comfort Cartoon. Eat Sleep Cartoon. And a little YouTube, you know, you know a little YouTube. You gotta throw that in there, you know, support your boy. But you guys can see on there, we got Ben, we got Forearms, we got Cyborg, Mojo Jojo, we got the Wee Bear Bears, Grizz Panda, we got Bomo, we have Heat Blast, and we have Buttercup Steven. I mean, it's, it's freaking amazing. And this is the front sign right here. So you come down the road, this will be the first thing that catches your attention. And once you get past that, sign we just checked out you would enter in over here where we have BMO with the entrance arrow that leads you this way straight to the hotel so now that we've checked out the outside there's no other small details out here there's a little theme park right next to it that's kind of cool but it's windy guys let's go ahead and check out the hotel up close okay so at the start you have this amazing Cartoon Network huge logo branding the whole hotel for the Cartoon Network theme and this thing is beautiful I will take a picture next to this so you guys can see the height difference as well for this. 
So you guys can see they've had three main colors here, red, yellow, and blue. I'm not 100% sure what the yellow is. I thought maybe Powerpuff Girls because the red, the blue, but this is in green. Maybe for just Adventure Time, like a Jake theme, just to kind of match it all together. But you'll see on the blue side, you've got Wee Bear Bears, you've got Pearl. I mean, so many little details. The Omni Treks up there. You've got Finn down here. And then over here in the yellow, you've got Beast Boy, Craig as well, which is really cool to see him on here. You've got Gumball, of course, and Teen Titans, you know it's the main man of Cartoon Network these days, guys. And then in the red side, we've got Darwin. I don't know who this is right here. If you guys can help me out, let me know. I, I'm not 100% sure. And then of course, we've got Blossom right here and another BMO up there from the front that we actually saw. Okay, and then on the actual building itself, you guys will see they've got a bunch of different artwork. Some are similar to the ones you see on the other side. You've got Buttercup up there. You've got Raven. Keeping it moving, we got a Booyah! We've got Pearl again. Oh, we even have OKKO okay right here. What the heck? If you're looking for a quick walkthrough, <laughs> I'm not the channel for that. You guys know me. I'm going to geek out over every little detail of this place. But I also noticed one more thing. They have a gift shop. A gift shop. I don't know why we're getting so close because we can go in, but a gift shop and then coming in you have the cartoon network hotel logo and then you've got inside which is incredible it's amazing <laughs> the designs are amazing in here guys you guys can see the designs we saw outside now they're actually colored in you've got the squiggles clouds in the sky you've got the elevator right here i think and then of course right in the middle you have the cartoon network logo with the staircase that goes around both sides this looks awesome theming for everything matches so well they even have a merch shadow box right here. So this is a shadow box of some of the merch you'll be able to pick up in the store. They have an arcade, which is Benton's Omni Arcade. We're going to check all this stuff out, guys. Let me just go ahead and check us in real quick. So they gave me this map after I checked in. So we have the Powerpuff Girls, Splashville. We've got the Outdoors Theater. We have the Indoor Pool. We have the Jake Slide, it looks like. Everything looks so interesting. We have all the different rooms right here. We have the main lobby. It just gives you a full map of everything. And you guys already know, I'm going to take another one of these so we can keep it in the collection like not even a question and i might have to ask if i can get another one of these too because we have the cartoon network kitchen barista cafe where it has the hours and also what you can order here too okay so we got our room key we got the map we're gonna be walking to the room first don't worry guys we're gonna come back here and we're gonna check out everything but for right now we're gonna start with just going to the room and seeing that first so guys, I don't know if we're gonna get the exact hotel that we chose. I think it's a little bit random, but the good thing is, is most of the rooms, we're in Pennsylvania, it's kind of a random spot for the hotel, but I love it. There's not many people in the rooms. You can see inside of this one is the Ben 10 room. So we should be able to get a shot of a lot of the rooms, at least from the outside. Even if my room is just the one we were asking for, I'd love to get some shots of the other rooms too, so we can see the theme. Let's go ahead and get to our room now. It's kind of at the end, so let's get to it. Okay, so let's see what room we got. We're actually the last room right here, literally the last room so let's go ahead and check it out and see what's here okay we got it unlocked and what room theme did we get what the hell we got <laughs> we got steven universe <laughs> okay i'm not mad i do love steven but i was really hoping for the powerpuff girls or maybe even ben 10 i would have taken hell i would have even taken adventure time or gum honestly i would have taken a lot of them i'm happy i'm happy <laughs> i love steven universe one of all of them so random either way we are in here and we got the steven universe one so of course there's got to be some steven universe art right here we're gonna get a shot of this one and like i said i don't want to be unappreciative i'm just happy to be here i just thought we were gonna be a powerpuff girls room but like i said it's random you can't necessarily select what room you want even though i think maybe i would have asked him it would have been fine because there's nobody here but i don't want to go through the process of getting my card and all that stuff again especially because i'm not even really staying here i'm just kind of getting shots for this video for you guys to document it so let's check it out throughout the entire room let's break it down okay so breaking down the room here i've zoomed out quite a bit so you guys can see the full perspective here so sorry if it's a little fish eye we have the steven universe bed and then we have the cartoon network themed curtains i don't know if they're cartoon network themed or just black and white but hey they're cartoon network themed to me and then outside you can see the whole courtyard right here so you can see everybody out here having fun and especially if you're a kid this would be so awesome to see all the excitement you know going outside right now is tuesday and it's like kind of cold but in the summertime i'm sure there's a lot of people out there playing in the pool and also the sprinkler system right there that is powerpuff girls will be checking 
checking out in a bit here. But the bed itself is nice. We've got the black and white theme. We've got the same kind of, this one is definitely themed to the hotel because these are the same kind of squiggles they had on the clouds inside. But of course, got the black and white theme. And I gotta say the bed looks, you know, I've been staying in a couple hotels on my trip here. The hotel bed looks clean. So I'm glad, glad to see that. And the bed is remarkably comfortable. <laughs> I didn't expect that. I think this is actually more comfortable than the, than the hotel I'm staying at. <laughs> like I said, guys, we're looking at every little detail here. So you can see right here, we actually have the hotel phone right here that you would call on. But we're just documenting all of this stuff because like I said, who's to say this will always be around? So this is what the phone looks like and very, very cool. It even has the room number down here on the bottom. Now, I'm not the type of guy to just take a pen. You know, I, I've never been the type of guy where my doctor hands me a pen to sign something and I just pocket it. I've never stolen anything in my life that I could think of. But this, you didn't see nothing. You didn't see nothing, guys. <laughs> All joking aside, it's a plastic pen. I think that they kind of are made to be disposable for the hotel. So I think they don't really expect this pen to be there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just a little memento. You know, I mean, it's not hurting anybody, right? I just, I just love it. And I'm promoting the hotel in this video. You know, I just want a pen. <laughs> I didn't show you my key to the room. It's got the Cartoon Network Hotel slip, but you know we're keeping this too. And it opens up and you can see everything inside of here, the room number, all of that stuff. And hey, if you end up staying here, this is the room I stayed at, so you'll know. And all the different stuff you can do here. So aiming away from the bed here, you'll see we have actually like a little media section. You know, we've got a little desk to work on stuff. We have, you know, your drawers, a little cabinet down here. Let's check out and see if there's anything in there. We got a mini fridge. We have a safe right here, which is supposed to be armed and guarded by all the Crystal Guardians. And and some drawers, of course, which are empty here. And then you got a little cute yellow ottoman to sit on while you're working here, along with a little tiny yellow light. Like I said, I'm assuming these yellow and blue, they probably have yellow, blue, red throughout the rooms, but an awesome little light here. I would love to one day, if they ever like, you know, re-renovate in here and they change some stuff out, I would love to be a part of getting some of these items. They are just so fun looking and the fact they're here is just incredible. The next up, like I said, I wanna see what the artwork is for all the rooms, but this is the one we've got right here for Steven Universe. Regardless of this not being the room that I wanted necessarily, I love it and this is beautiful. So now turning away from the bed, you have bunk beds here. So I got the full package, you know, everything that you could pretty much get here. You've got the bunk beds, which have a similar theme to whatever your parents' bed would be or, you know, however you want to do it. Each one of them has their own TV on the top and the bottom, which I'm sure is rigged up with Cartoon Network. <laughs> and then turning around here, you've got the walls right here that are all Cartoon Network themed. Again, similar to the patterns that we saw outside. This is just kind of the aesthetic that they have for everything. And then entering the bathroom, they have a really amazing lighting system where it's backlit behind the mirrors. And then if we come in here, we've got the yellow and the bathroom is so freaking cute. We have the shower, it's small because you know, it's for kids probably, but and I'm also really big. I'm like almost hitting the shower curtain here, but it works. And then we have the actual shower curtain itself, which is definitely exclusive to here. Unbelievable. I love it so much. And then you have the toilet, you know, happens. And then you have the sink, which of course has that same kind of white vibe to it. And then you've got a curtain and laundry. I mean, it's not like a suite, but at the same time, it's really nice for $115, $115 for this kind of experience. I can't complain. If you don't live in Pennsylvania, obviously that's gonna be a little bit more expensive, but if it's within driving distance, 115 bucks just for experiencing this, I think is well worth it. And of course, since this is a hotel for kids too, it has a freaking beanbag chair, which I haven't sat in in over a decade. Yeah, I be bagging. I be bagging. And here's a fun little feature. It's actually preset to Cartoon Network. So watch this. If I change the channel, it's on Titans. If I change the channel again, it's on Fan Faves. It's all Cartoon Network. Change it again, new show. Change it again, Teen Titans Go. It's all Cartoon Network channels. So don't like that Cartoon Network channel. You can just change it to another channel and it's another Cartoon Network show. Can't ask for more than that. That's amazing. So panning the whole room, that was everything, you guys. So we're gonna go check out everything outside. But here's a shot of all the other rooms that I could capture through the windows. I'm going to make sure that nobody's in them, of course, because that would be weird. So we're not going to do that. Let's go ahead and check out the rooms. Here's a shot of them all. And then we're going to check out some other stuff. Okay. So here you guys can see this is the gumball room. And really what changes this, I can't get a shot of it, but there is a gumball artwork of some kind. And then they have the sheets, which I love that little foot sham at the bottom of, I don't know what's called a foot sham, I guess, where it protects the bed from your feet. <laughs> we have gumball and Darwin. And then of course we have dad right up here as well. And then we have the other room I would have been okay with is the Ben 10 one. You have the Omni Trex on the bottom here. You have Ben here. And then again, the walls are a similar, if not the same to the other rooms as well. 
Then we have Adventure Time right here. We've got Jake at the bottom, Finn as the pillow. And again, there should be some kind of artwork in there. It's just kind of hard to see because the reflection in here. But you can see kind of through the reflection, there is something in there for Adventure Time as well. And then for the Wee Bear Bears room, we have all of the bears here on the base. And then all of them hanging out, having fun, except for maybe Panda there <laughs> on the pillow. And if you see the artwork back there, it's really hard to get up out of it because the reflection here. But you can see there's actually all of the bears and looks like Charlie maybe in the shot. I can't fully make it out, but a really, really cool room. Another option I would have taken. And then the room I was trying to get, we have the Powerpuff Girls room, which has an awesome artwork over there. You guys can see very easily. And then of course you've got their main colors down here in the bottom for Buttercup, Blossom, and Bubbles. And then a pink wall in the background. I gotta say, I think this is overall the aesthetically the coolest room of them. If not this one, maybe the Gumball or Adventure Time one, but I'm gonna go with this one. You guys let me know what your favorite room was that we saw today. So now we're in the courtyard. Our room was right down there. So we have some chairs out here that kind of match. So you can hang out, keep track of your kids or whatever going on. But they have some games too. They have this game that I don't know the name of or ever seen, but they have black and white golf balls. So let's try this thing out real quick. Oh, okay. So we got the top one. Oh, we missed the middle one. There we go. We got the middle one. Two out of, okay, one out of the three. Next up, we have Cornhole here, you guys can see. They have all the different characters here on the, as well. Let's see if we can get some good shots here. We got the black and white ones, and they actually say Cartoon Network Hotel on them too, which is even cooler. Okay, so we got our Cartoon Network stack here. They are a little bit wet right now from the rain, so they don't have that bean quality that's not them slide in, so give me a break. That did not slide at all. That was, that was a good shot, I think, actually. <laughs> can we get that one in? Yeah, okay, we got one of those very moist, what are they called? Corn, corn bags, cornhole bags, I don't know, whatever, but we did that. So next up, they have a Powerpuff Girls actual like sprinkler water fountain, like play park, I guess you'd call it. You can see it's not on right now. I'm hoping it's not because I don't get sprayed right now by Mojo Jojo, that would be well in his character. But he actually has some holes right here that I'm assuming would be for a water. You guys can see there's actually a little bit of leakage coming out of this one right now. So it is for water, so he'd be spraying water. And I don't know if the Powerpuff Girls themselves actually spray water but there's multiple geysers that actually spray water throughout the floor and the mojo jojo is an actual gatling gun for water you can use this to spray all your friends or maybe your parents and then over here we actually have the fountains these are also adjustable so you could like kind of play around with everything here it's all like interactive you get the blue the red and also the green for the powerpuff girls and of course we have them themselves right up here and these aren't working right now but if you look at it it looks like water comes out of there and then it would rotate these stars just by the momentum of the water, which would just kind of have a constant flow of just water dropping to add that effect as you're looking at it as a whole. And to be honest, I'm not 100% sure what this is right here. It looks like the water comes in here and then it flows down here and then it flows down here and then that water would drip through to the bottom maybe, but I don't really know what that would be for exactly, but really cool. Okay, so then next up, we're going to the indoor pool. So they do have an outdoor pool, but again, because it's right now, it's kind of cold, they have that covered up. Let's check out the indoor pool. So we have some awesome seating out front. We got some awesome designs as we've seen throughout the hotel. Can we actually get in here? I think we need our key. So let's check that out. Okay, so the indoor pool is closed right now. They closed a little earlier than I got here. But you can see there's not really that much Cartoon Network theming in there. It's mostly just the colors. But they do have some towels down there that probably are more Cartoon Network themed. But it does have the same color coordination that we had throughout it. And it is a kid's pool too. So it maxes out at about five feet. And if you guys see down here, there's actually like a little spot you see like a patch that hasn't quite healed or grown in yet there was an outdoor theater that was here and if you look on the map here you'll see there actually is an outdoor theater that is on the map but again maybe because it's raining right now it's pennsylvania there could even be because of the winter they had to put it away or maybe it was discontinued not 100 percent sure but nonetheless that's where that was and again guys this like i said this was closed right now but it is the actual land of pool <laughs> right here you guys can see you have multiple characters from adventure your time right up here then you have some awesome lights that come through here all the way to the hotel rooms but it looks like there was maybe a snack bar that should be here during some stuff 
Yes, as you see over here, it says Land of Pool concession stand. And this sign is it's 100% metal. Like it's like metal on the outside, I think like resin on the inside. A very high quality sign that I would love, but obviously it looks perfect right here on display for everybody to enjoy. So we have the whole little drawing section right here. That's so fun for all our future animators out there <laughs> to be able to start some work over here. They have a TV with Adventure Time graphics going on here, hanging out, have a party with Adventure Time crew. And they have draw a live coloring sheet. So I think if we draw something, it might actually add it into the show here. So let's go ahead and draw something here, guys, and let's get it done. So for our drawing, I think we can pick from these ones right here. I think we're gonna pick, it's hard to choose. Uh, let's go ahead and go with Gwen. No, P-Blast. Let's do Lumpy Space Princess. Okay, so we have the Lumpy Space Princess done. And then over here we have Ben. I don't know why my Ben looks like he's sponsored by Sprite, but let's go ahead and put him into the scanner. Okay, so the Ben you can't actually add in there. So the Lumpy Space Princess we can do because it has the QR code, so let's do it. All right, so let's put it in there. And boom, there's our drawing. We have the Lumpy Space Princess. And I, I think they actually got the shading in there pretty accurately too. That is amazing, I love it. And now we have our own Lumpy Space Princess with the rest of the crew partying out. So Cartoonito is actually like a younger kids programming block they have for Cartoon Network. So you see there's a bunch of different drawings from different kids, which is so adorable. We even have the Blobbles down here. We got Darwin. All these designs were done by kids. And this is where all the memories begin is in childhood. So I love to see. And then they have an interactive floor too, so you step on it and it actually starts to change up. So you'll see different characters come up. We got OKKO, OK Darwin, the Omnitrix, you go hero time. <laughs> kind of swaps up so wherever you go it starts to break down that direction and then it changes to different characters and it comes back so let's go ahead and do this now we're going to power puff ourselves so let's check it out i mean that one's actually not that far off already but we'll check it out so right now i'm trying to make myself and if i switch through the different outfits you see they actually have cartoon network outfits to go with the power puff yourself so it really feels like you know all cartoon network encompassed I don't know why I became bald, but they have so many different outfits that are so cute. Okay, I think that looks pretty accurate. I've always been very easy to make into like avatars and figures. I think I have very cartoonish features, so <laughs> that worked out very well. So our goal here is to high five as many friends as possible. So let's do it. We don't want to miss anybody. Let's try and get as many people as we can. Okay, we got her. Got smacked her in the face, but we got her. That's more than I've gotten in the last six years, so that's great. So there was also a kiosk where you guys can see I showed you all those artworks from kids. You can make your own coasters for Cartoonito. So I made mine and it says, love what you love unapologetically because that's what this channel is all about is loving what you love and don't let anybody else stop you. If what you're doing isn't hurting anybody else, you can love whatever you want and be yourself always. Okay, so I added mine here onto the wall. I think it looks great in here. Okay, so now we're gonna enter into the Ben 10 Omnicade. Let's go ahead and enter in, guys. So you can see the walls got Ben right here on the side. We have the tower of tickets. And look, they even have a prize claw machine where you can get credits and try to get one of the Powerpuff Girls, a Wee Bear Bear. We got a Beast Boy back there. All of them look like they're pretty tightly in there. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to get any of these guys, but it's still super cute to see it here. They have this right here, which is like the ultimate quarter machine, I guess. Like these are the things you get from like a quarter machine or little capsules there's like a rotisserie of all the different ones that they have just so many different options if you don't like one you just wait you might say the next one that you do like we have some more stuff over here in the prizes we have some sonic back clips right here you get some pokemon packs which is interesting not a lot of cartoon network stuff that you can win though it's kind of a little weird but it's okay and then you've got down here some more stuff too you've got some air sticks you've got the justice league disco robot grogu you've got the light year for five thousand tickets the Zerg Blaster. I mean, who would even expect you to actually go to an arcade when you go to a hotel anyway? So the fact they have anything is really, really cool for prizes that you can go home with. And if you want to get credits to play, it's right here with the Omnicade system right here where you can actually get in. And it's actually very like Omnitrex themed. It's really cool. So you can actually use this to load credits onto your card right here. Honestly, I might get it just so I can see if the card that comes out of there is themed to this. I wasn't going to play any games, but the fact that there's a card you get, I kind of, <laughs> that's got me. Okay, so let's go ahead and tap here for game card. Boom. And then it should come out right here. Yes, it is a Ben 10 card. What the heck? 
Okay, that's sick. I'm gonna put another five dollars in. Okay, so I'm gonna try and see if we can get something out of this, but they all look pretty tight. Let's see. I think the, honestly, they all look so tight in there. Let's just go for this buttercup right here, because I'm thinking maybe we can grab her big head, pull her out, but no for sure. We got 10 seconds, so let's just try and get this perfect. All right. That was a pretty good launch, but I don't think we're grabbing anything on that. <laughs> Claw machines are a little bit risky, so I'm not gonna waste any more credits on this, but I wanna try it out. Okay, so here's a few of the games that got in here. I mean, there's not that many Cartoon Network arcade games that exist, I don't think, if any, so that's probably not a way they could have a Cartoon Network game in here, but you guys can see the different game options they have. They do, for some reason, have a Lightning McQueen in here, which is, well, it's actually not even Lightning McQueen, it's just a general car that has eyes, which is probably better, though, than having a Lightning McQueen at a Cartoon Network hotel. And right out here, as we leave the Ben 10 Arcade, they have these masks that actually have all the different aliens on here. You got Cannonball, Diamond Head, you got the new Stink Fly, you got Brain, yeah, it's so cool to see all these characters. I was a huge Ben 10 fan growing up, so it's really, really cool. And I can't lie that some of the, my favorite stuff in here is the Ben 10 stuff. So right here at the start, you have Jake with the lights behind him, the LEDs. He looks so cute, eating a sandwich right here in the kitchen. So now we're in the Cartoon Network kitchen. You guys can see they have like videos of like kind of what the kitchen would look like in the background. And let's watch it for a second. I think you might see some movement going on in there. I saw somebody move. So if you wait long enough in the kitchen, you'll actually see some Cartoon Network characters appear in the kitchen. Kitchen. So they actually have different like sectional booths for each show. So right here we have Powerpuff Girls, just Townsville. So we have the Powerpuff Girls house right here, them flying on out. And then we get inside of the Powerpuff Girls house. So we're inside of their house right now. And this is where you can have your lunch, your dinner, your breakfast. And you've got Cartoon Network on TV right there too. And that trail goes all the way out with the Powerpuff Girls coming this way through the back area of the kitchen. Over here, we've got the Omnitrex in the Ben 10 section. So you can be right here inside of some kind of intergalactic lab of some kind for the Omnitrex. <laughs> you've got four arms over here, very fun, along with, again, Cartoon Network on TV. And I think my personal favorite one here, besides the Powerpuff Girls one, is this Adventure Time one. You've got Jake down here on this side. We have the inside of Jake and Finn's tree house. You can see the actual tree branches, some of their treasures. You see a freaking T-bone steak right there for Jake. We got a battle axe. It's just so many cool things in here. Even the dog bone. We got one of Finn's swords. So cool to be inside of this piece. And let's see what the other side has. It should have the rest of Jake and it leads to Finn. It's so freaking adorable. I love it so much. And then even the curtains have characters on them as well. You guys can see these are just curtains to keep the general light out. And even these are also themed around different Cartoon Network characters. Characters. It's really surprisingly like in depth of how the details they did. added so much more than I anticipated. So this is the Cartoon Network kitchen. Let's go ahead and check out the We Bear Bears Cafe real quick. So on the wall outside the Cartoon Network kitchen, they actually have storyboards. So these are actual storyboards from Cartoon Network. I don't know if they're actual ones, they could just be prints. But nonetheless, if you've never seen what the behind the scenes of a cartoon goes, I'm gonna say these aren't real because usually with these storyboards, they don't usually actually color them in. But here's a storyboard for an episode of the Powerpuff Girls going all the way through. It is really just, like I said, there's so many details that I feel like maybe even a kid couldn't even appreciate. So for parents or, people like, you know, me that are just coming here to the aspect of the Cartoon Network, there's a lot of little details that make you really happy just to see them and be able to experience it. Like, I don't think a kid would necessarily care about that that much, but me as an adult who grew up watching it, I think it's incredible. So here we have the Adventure Time Tree Fort right here, and it's on an interesting paper, like sketch paper. So some parts of it make me feel like it might have been like an actual, you know, used piece. And this one says under file originals. These are originals right here. And then we have this beautiful one with Marceline and Princess Bubblegum right here here as well. And then you even have the animator reference position pictures where it actually shows the different emotions and faces of Jake and also the different emotion and faces for Finn. So that way when the animator is drawing these characters, they know exactly what their face is gonna look like when they're in a certain mood. And art wall goes all the way across here. And I think Cartoon Network must have actually sent in all these sketches for the hotel because these are legitimate, like over here especially, these ones right here, you actually have the blue ink right there is like a very erasable ink that they would use to do the first draft of it. So that way if they make any mistakes, they can just erase it. And then once they have it permanent, they can go ahead and do it in a more solid color. Like here we see We Bear Bears with the California San Francisco bridge right there. We're a long way from home right now, but it's nice to see a little resemblance here in the We Bear Bears. And then we have right here the classic step 
stack for Wee Bear Bears too. And we even have a little note of the stack right here so you guys can see the reference picture for it too. It's so adorable. Like they don't look like the bears, but you know that's the bear without a doubt. It's so cool because the stack's so iconic at this point. And there's more here. There's even more. <laughs> we have Finn's walk thumbnails. So they can use these for reference. They have all these right here for Steven Universe. And then over here they have, I would love this. This is so cool. This huge canvas across of Townsville all the way down. And then right here we have the Adventure Time poster and it's limited number 113 out of 250 that they made of those. And then of course we have the Powerpuff Girls right here. We have Buttercup, Blossom, and we also have Bubbles. And that art wall goes all the way down as well. Okay, so we're entering in Barista right here, which is from an episode where they opened a cafe, as we were just told by an awesome employee here too. And I actually can re remember that episode too. We got coffee, food, and spritz, and it's in a little projection onto the floor. And then we come on in, and you guys can see it is all Wee Bear Bears in here. Because Wee Bear Bears is one of Cartoon Network's biggest properties. I mean, even especially in like other countries in Asia, that's huge over there with merchandise. So I'm so glad that Wee Bear Bears got their own little section in here. So right here we have the Wee Bear Bear is doing their classic stack. We have Cartoon Network on TV, of course. <laughs> and we have the Wee Bear Bear sign that literally looks like the actual logo and it's lit up. That is beautiful. And then we have Pan Pan, we got Grizz, and we have Ice Bear here to hang out with us. Chill out, get some coffee here in the Bear Cafe, watch Cartoon Network. I, I want to live here, honestly. <laughs> now, can I live here? Can we live here, Buttercup? That would be great. Okay, and then they have the Bear still logo right here. All lit up beautifully and I think what we're gonna do is we might come back here in the morning and we'll end the video off in here and we'll get some actual coffees we'll get some drinks that are themed around the wee bear bears but let's go to the gift shop as any trip must end you gotta end at the gift shop Right over here, these are so cool. We have the Cartoon Network Hotel mugs. We have Cartoon Network bottles, Cartoon Network Hotel hats, Cartoon Network, more mugs. And then we have hoodies. And then we have a Powerpuff Girls section over here. Gumball, I mean, literally, let's just go through it one at a time. Okay, and then in here, they've got the Powerpuff Girls section up there. You've got some Funko Pops. We actually have all these Funko Pops in the collection already. So we're gonna leave those guys. But we're just gonna look around and I'll show you guys what stuff I'm gonna pick up at the end. So we have all the towels here. I wanted to get one of each color. We got the yellow, we got the blue, we got the red, and we got two of each of them so we can use one and keep one. And then we have the awesome power from Puff Girl that we got hooked up with, so awesome. And then we've got the hotel notepads, so we're gonna get that. I wanted to get mostly stuff that was themed around the hotel because of the fact we're at the hotel. If it's something that we can get somewhere else, I wanna get the hotel stuff. So we've got this right here as well, two bags. And we also got the blanket, which is kind of like a tapestry if you wanna hang it up too. So I'm a huge fan of everything we picked up. Now we just gotta pay for it and we're gonna head on out. So the first thing I picked up and I knew I had to get was this huge Cartoon Network blanket. I mean, you may see a blanket here. I see a giant tapestry, like a big sign. That is so freaking cool. And it was hand printed in the USA, but not just that. They did sublim 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 sublimination printing. There you go, word, that word. Sublimination printing, which means that they've used heat and it's kind of like a printer when they print it. It goes like But the good thing about this is the dye will never fade. Like no matter how many times you wash it, dry, it, use it. The dye on this will never actually fade. That's the good thing about that type of print quality. So it really does make it really good for a tapestry use too because if you need to wash it, you can always just wash it and then throw it back up. And it says of course Cartoon Network Hotel. And all of these items we have here, including the majority of the items at the Cartoon Network Hotel, were exclusive to the Cartoon Network Hotel. You cannot buy them online. The only way you can actually get them is if you go to the Cartoon Network Hotel. So of course I wanted to pick up the stuff that said Cartoon Network Hotel on it the most or gave that vibe the most. So then next, I got this drawstring bag right here, you guys can see. This is so freaking cool. It says Cartoon Network Hotel on it. It was only 15 bucks at the Cartoon Network Hotel tag. And it's got a little zipper section here for your keys and stuff. And a very solid bag overall. And I'm not gonna lie, I kinda needed it to kinda compact all this stuff. I got this Cartoon Network Hotel notepad too. It's just literally paper, but it's on a little magnet that says Cartoon Network Hotel you can put on your refrigerator. I'm not gonna lie, I probably won't use these papers very often. Maybe I'll draw like Gumball or Mordecai 
guy on it and I'll just leave it on my fridge just like that. I think this is so cool. And then not just that, we ended up going home with a butter cup from the actual arcade machine. And I think that's what they kind of do is plushies were really tough to get. So I think if they see somebody try and have times, you know, it is a place for kids and stuff like that. They might just help you out and get you one maybe. I can't speak for everybody, but I think that they definitely sensed the kind of energy that I really wanted it. So the guy was really kind to me and actually opened up the machine and got one out for me. And I mean, that's the kind of service that they had over there. It was so kind, so much fun from start to finish. An incredible time. So I'm glad we got to add Buttercup to the collection. And I'll always have that memory from the Cartoon Network Hotel to go with it. So let's check out these towels a little closer because again, I will not be using these as towels. One day I would love to hang these guys up next to each other. Maybe even with this above it, who knows? But the designs of these are incredible. So let's check these ones out. So here we have the towels. I put the red one and the blue one out because the designs are the same. So you can kind of imagine what the yellow looks like. But we have the blue one right here and you can see all the different characters represented. You have Craig of the Creek on there, okay, KO, Ben 10, just a huge variety from the roster of Cartoon Network. And it comes all the way down to the bottom. Like it's just such a cool art piece in itself, like let alone a towel. And the red one is the same design, like I said, but just a beautiful. I love it so much. Okay, and I said that you guys could imagine the yellow one, but you guys know me. I love the little details. So we're gonna see the yellow one too. <laughs> the yellow one is the same, but you know, we love yellow on this channel. That's for dang sure. So there it is right there in the yellow as well. I think all three of the towel variations were a must have for me because just that was the scheme of the colors for everything there. So I felt like that was just a good embodiment of everything they had going on there. And it has the same art style you could see across the entire building inside and out. All right, guys. So it is the next morning and I got a coffee. This is the Panda Latte. I wanted to order to see if there was going to be like a little panda foam on the top or something like that. But it's okay. It's just a panda related flavor. It's dark chocolate mixed with white chocolate into a frappuccino and it tastes amazing. And I also got some ice water with it. But we are now leaving the Cartoon Network Hotel. Thank you guys so much as always for joining me on this journey. I couldn't have done it without you guys as always. You guys are my support system. Having you guys with me makes me so much stronger as I always say. So thank you, thank you, thank you for being here with me on this awesome adventure. And we were able to check off the Cartoon Network Hotel from the Comfort Cartoons map of things that we need to do so we can go ahead and check off Pennsylvania on the map as a place that we've gotten something in the collection. I would love to be able to get something in the collection from all 50 states in America. So far, we've got New York checked off, got Pennsylvania checked off. We're doing pretty good on this list, but thank you again, guys, so much for joining me in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to smack the like button, subscribe if you're new here, and if you haven't already, go check us out on Whatnot, where you get $15 off your first purchase. I always say it, I appreciate it. And we do giveaways every single week, so go check that out. And it's always Rep Pack. I will see you, beautiful people, in the next one. Adios. I mean, come on, that that was freaking amazing. That that was that was amazing. That was a, one of the dopest things ever.